Hey guys, I'm Rachel from Voyages of Agape, and today we're going to be swapping out our old rigid solar panels for Xantrex's new flex panels. So our new Max Flex and Flex panels will actually enable us to utilize this space much better. We'll be able to cover the entire surface area of our Dodger and Bimini and get more wattage out of the area. So the new panels are going to be considerably lighter and we won't have to have this big bulky framing on here anymore which causes a lot of windage on our boat. The first step was to remove our old rigid panels, creating a blank canvas for our new flexible panels to be mounted on. Hey guys, and welcome back on board Agape. Today we're going to be starting our solar panel installation project. On top of the Bimini, we plan to put three 110 watt flexible solar panels. We're excited about the flexible panels because they're going to be able to match the bend of the Bimini. We're going to build a lightweight aluminum frame to help support the panels and keep any of the weight off of the fabric. So every installation is going to be a little bit different. We might have chosen to put it on an aluminum frame, but you don't necessarily have to. You can mount them directly to a bimini, straight to the deck, motor coach roof. Wherever you're gonna put it, every installation is gonna be slightly different. So before we attach the solar panels, we're gonna go ahead and through bolt this aluminum frame onto the bimini. We recommend using a corrosion inhibitor anytime you are combining dissimilar metals. We also use leather washers to prevent chafing on our canvas. So now that the frame is installed, we're ready to go ahead and start mounting the panels to it. So we're gonna go ahead and use rivets to rivet these to the aluminum frame using part of our own hardware and part of the Xantrex mounting hardware that comes included with the solar panels. So we're using aluminum rivets with aluminum washer backing plates. And in between the solar panel and the aluminum frame, we're using the gaskets from Xantrex's installation kit. For our installation, we found rivets to be the simplest and cleanest way to mount our panels. So now the center panel is installed and ready for wiring. So we love the idea of branch connectors for connecting solar panels. They make it quick, easy, and highly water resistant. Journal! Easily distracted here. Highlight of doing install videos in Tahiti, you take a break from when the turtles pass. The only downside is when you start connecting multiple panels, three up to four panels for these flexible ones, is that the connectors start getting really bulky and trying to find a good spot to be able to hide them is a little tricky. One of the advantages to the aluminum frame is it gives us a little space between the fabric and the panel to be able to hide these. So we'll get ready to rivet this third panel down and then we'll be able to install our wiring. So we realized that it's gonna be a little bit tricky to show you guys the wiring of the panels because we're gonna hide it all underneath. But just to give you guys an idea of what it'll be like for our installation, these branch connectors will be connected to a center support underneath this panel. All three positive and all three negative wires will just clip directly into the branch connectors and then our positive and negative wiring will come out the side. So it'll look like this, just hidden under the frame. Positive, 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 and our negatives. So the panels are up, they're mounted, and I really like the way they look. It turns out to be a really clean install with the panels matching the curve of the Bimini. So once you have all your wiring laid out and your positive and negatives where you like them, you simply just plug and play, clip them together, and you're ready to go. So Xantrex has made this really easy to run up to four panels or 440 watts of solar, almost plug and play directly to their 30 amp charge controller. You can see just how easy the installation is. Straight from the solar panels to the charge controller and the charge controller to your battery bank. But every installation is a little bit different. For example, here in Agape, we're gonna be running more than the 30 amps. So we're gonna be using one of Xantrex's C60 charge controllers. 
But other than that, the wiring is gonna be pretty much the same. So this installation looks more complicated. The only difference is that they've added a solar disconnect and a battery disconnect, which is just breakers on each side of the charge controller. So now with the solar panels installed and the charge controller connected, we can go ahead and check our output. So this is how we measure the DC amps coming into the boat. And right now our solar array is putting out 13.5 amps, which is pretty good considering it's partly cloudy today. Thanks for following along as we installed our 110 watt flexible solar panels on board Agape. Stay tuned as we up the wattage even more, installing a Xantrex 165 watt MaxFlex panel.